Hello everybody, and welcome back to the 2016 console port definitive uh, guide. I'm Middlebro, and today we are going to be going over your uh, your melee weapons. Uh, there are two types of melee weapons in this game. There are your blunt weapons, uh, aka clubs and the sledgehammer, and there are your bladed weapons, aka the bone shiv, the hunting knife, and machete. First, so let's go over blunt uh, weapons. So you have the wooden club that you start out with, just takes a bit of wood. And then you have the iron reinforced club, which takes wood and iron, which is your step up from the wooden club. Then you have the barbed club, which uh, takes uh, forged iron and and spiked, uh, not spiked, but uh, forged iron and wood. Take a look here in the old crafting menu. Let's see, where is that? The Spike Club, uh, we'll get into that for just a second, but... The Barbed Club uh, takes uh, 16 Forged Iron and 20 Wood. And then you have the next step up, which is the the Spike Club, which <laughs> takes 20 Forged Iron and 20 Wood to craft. And the Wooden Club, uh, being your basic blunt weapon, does will give a uh, 10% uh, effective uh, <laughs> blunt force trauma, like 10% chance for that. The Iron Reinforced Club will do a uh, 20% chance of blunt trauma. But then with barbed clubs, uh, you get... you can cause a bleed out effect, and... I think it adds to uh, that to zombies and players if you're playing multiplayer. But you get both bleeding out and blunt trauma at 30% chance, and then the spike club is uh, basically the ultimate club here for your... And it will do the most damage out of all of these, and will also do bleeding out at 50%, and also blunt trauma at 40% effect. And then you also got the sledgehammer, which is basically your... And kind of like the ultimate powerhouse of this. You get blunt trauma, uh, 50% chance, a stun to 30% chance, also a 30% chance of spraying a leg. Uh, on your uh, target, I think those affect, I think the last part affects to uh, players, and... Well, let's just see what all these look like in-game. Grab these out, just so you know I am using all level 600 weapons uh, to make this even. So this is your basic, basic club, and you know, just what you start out with at the beginning of the game. And once you get a bit more advanced, this is your Iron Reinforced Club. You get your, it, you know, just does more damage and, you know, just uh, better than a wood club. Then you get the old uh, Barb Club, which uh, gives you even more damage and chance to bleed. You've got the barbs around there, which is really nice. Then you got the spike club, which looks really gnarly with the old uh, the spikes on there. Uh, really nice. And then you got the sledgehammer. You got a nice big old iron sledgehammer. There's only just the iron sledgehammer in this version, unlike PC version later on where it introduced a stone, a and a steel sledgehammer along with the iron sledgehammer. So, the skills associated along with these weapons are your your blunt weapons. You, know, you just level it up by doing this naturally. You can just pump in skill points if you really feel like it. Then you also got Palm Pete. Per um, rank of this, you get 11.3% damage bonus and minus 10% stamina cost. So up to 50% stamina cost, and then you get about, I think it's, I did this for the ranged weapons uh, on the rifles. You get a total 56.3%, and then you get a 28% damage at a max level, so you get about, I want to say it's an 84% damage boost once you fully max this out, which is very nice. Let me just... Give myself a drink of water. As I was saying though, with 
with this you get and then you can also take breaking and entering. Breaking and entering is literally for doing more block damage straight up with your with your uh, stuff, with your blunt weapons and this is especially useful for um the sledgehammer. Let's just take like the old iron club here. Does about forty five damage. So if you really felt like it, you could just do this, and you know, keep in mind I don't have max rank of this. So it does about the same damage to a regular old iron door. Not too bad. Where breaking iron really comes to shine is... Let's just find a... A door, but... Versus this, you can one-shot a block. Yeah, very nice with the sledgehammer, but... Literally, and do 147 damage. You could literally two hit a block with. You grant I'm using level 600, but quite literally just about like once you get really skilled into it, you can just one shot doors and make easy work at them. I think that's about it for our blunt weapons. So just run back over here real quick to our storage. Just and we're going to move on to the blade weapons. Uh, the so just let me place these back here. Apologies for this. And put our old slit hair back there. So you got your basic weapon, your basic uh, blade weapon, the old bone shiv. The bone shiv is uh, a... You, all you have to do is just make it from a... From one large bone, all you have to do is just go axe an animal, uh, and then you'll have a bone shiv. Which is uh, really handy for harvesting resources, and... If only there was a zombie hanging out in the zombie apocalypse. With the bone shiv, you hang with all the melee weapons you get. So you have your regular swing animation. And one thing to know versus blunt weapons is uh, the blade weapons are a lot shorter range in terms of uh, hit range. But then you can do this. Doing 30 damage with the with the slight with the swipe of the old uh, uh with slashing animation for your gathering. Then you got your hunting knife. A nice <laughs> traditional hunting knife that looks kind of like a, a bowie knife to me. Really beautiful, or, you know, like the Rambo knife. See how much this does. So, you know, this is what it looks like with your very old swinging. I think it does about 40 damage. Yeah, 40 damage per swing. That's really nice, and then you got the ultimate for the blade weapons, which is the uh, machete. Uh, so, different little swinging animation there uh, for the old uh, machete. Let's just uh, test it out in the old uh, zombie over here. Took off an arm, swung him in. There you go, buddy. And then, one shot. I think this can do about 80 damage, and the thing with blade weapons is for they have two skills that help uh, their damage. You can get the knife guy, which is like a uh, poem Pete stated before. You can do, which would give you 20, uh, like another, give you a uh, you know 11. 0.3% damage and help make you use 10% less stamina. Stamina. But you also have um, the decapitator, uh, which uh, will give you, I think it's a 5% chance to, and to uh, give you 5% more chance to blow off a limb or or the head, and, and so if you or really into that, you go for that. And yeah, I think that's a pretty good uh, 
an overview of the melee weapons. I hope you enjoyed, and I thank you all so much for watching, and join me in the next part of the series. Have a great day.